Mitch, do you take Caitlin to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, to love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, in richer for poorer, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. Ooh, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, do you take Mitch to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, for richer or poorer, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as you both shall live? I do. Well, yeah. I do. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Let's get this uh, taken care of so we can get out of here, okay? We're delighted to have you here on this gorgeous day to celebrate the beautiful union between Mitch and Caitlin. It's clear to see that this pair is part of a strong community of friendship and love, which is the very foundation of this marriage. And as saying goes, it takes a village. There's no better example of that village standing here and sitting here today, looking out at all of you, joining us to celebrate the union of these two. Luckily for me, this nest part's easy. They created their own vows. <laughs> if I ever say I love you more, I don't mean I love you more than you love me. I mean, I love you more than the bad days ahead of us. I love you more than any fight we ever have. I love you more than the distance between us. I love you more than anyone or anything that has ever tried to come between us. I love you more. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You're allowed to hold her hand. <laughs> it's gonna blow away. <laughs> I gotta hold on to it. I do not have a memorist. 
I love you more than anyone. Her heart said that part. <laughs> <laughs> I love you always, and nothing could ever change that. I vow to always protect you from anything that stands in our way. I vow to love you through our brightest days and our darkest nights. I vow to always nurture you when you're sick and make the best memories that you could ever ask for. I vow to always be there to comfort you and make you laugh on your bad days. I know you have a lot of them. <laughs> I get hungry. <laughs> she gets very hungry and it's scary. I promise to always be by your side no matter what life throws at us. It's just you and I forever. Always and forever, no matter what. I love you. to give away his daughter, unless that's changed. <laughs> Instead, I wanna ask you give your blessing for the union of these two, Mitch and Caitlin. I do. Mitchell Thomas Melander. I know I can be a little indecisive at times, but today I've seen here making the easiest decision in my life, and that's becoming your wife. Ever since our first date at Carl's, not only have I been obsessed with Brussels sprouts, but uh, my whole world has revolved around your smile. <laughs> it's brand new. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it slowly gets me through a tough day, gets me in trouble for laughing at the wrong times. <laughs> it makes my worries and fears disappear. It has filled my heart with so much love. I've grown to take comfort and solace in your smile and it's what comes to mind when I think of home. One day when we are old and gray, and probably have dentures, <laughs> I pray that I'm lucky enough to, that it'll be the last thing that I see. <laughs> there is no easier task and no bigger privilege than spending my life with you. I promise to be patient, I promise to be understanding, unless I'm hungry. Can't, can't do anything about no. like that. Uh -uh. Nope. I promise to make sure that you know your sacrifices don't go unnoticed. I promise to stand with you when struggles of life bring us down and to celebrate when life brings us joy. I promise to make the most of each moment, to make you feel safe and seen. I promise to make you laugh and to share my heart and soul with you and grow with you forever and always. No matter what happens from this day forward, I vow to always be yours. Because of you, I laugh and smile and I dare to dream more than I ever have. <laughs> Thank you for the miracle of you. You are and always will be the love of my life. <laughs> the love of my life, my soulmate, my best friend, and my person. And I gotta always grab your butt, even when you're older. All the way on Tuesdays. <laughs> By the authority that I did not need permission <laughs> for here in the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Here, now here we are today at this very moment celebrating this success story. All of us here are beyond grateful to experience this celebration with both of you. I have been fortunate enough to watch a brother find love, embrace that love, expose his true heart, and commit to spending the rest of his life with this love. This is a joyous occasion that all of us should remember and hold dear in our hearts. Here's to the new bride and groom, Caitlin and Mitchell, we all love you both very much. We all wish you the best in this journey. 
We hope your life is full of joy and adventure. Cherish the little things. Never stop dating. And we wish you a long and healthy marriage. Mitch, I hope you know how lucky you are to be married to this remarkable woman. The first time my husband Nathan and I went on a date with these two, they couldn't stop giggling and making funny faces at each other. It was gross and awkward. <laughs> on our way home, as we were talking, we agreed that these two goofballs were perfect for each other. I would like to provide some insight that my maid of honor shared on my wedding day. Mitch, if you would please place your hand on top of Caitlin's. Perfect. Now, I want you to remember this. This is the first and the last time you will have the upper hand. You know, these two can face the storm. And then you look around them and they have such amazing friends. Um, I'm so impressed by their friends. And so Caitlin and Mitch and their friends, I mean, okay, they can already handle the storm and now they can just take on the world. And here I stand looking at the expanded friends and family and their future is limitless. I'm so proud of them. We love them. And I'd like to uh, yeah. raise a toast to Caitlin and Mitch. It'll be close, but I might have known her longer than you have. I remember her in the EMT class. She was going to be an EMT, and I talked Mitch into coming to be a patient. They were going to do their scenarios and. <laughs> she kept trying to revive him and he just kept <laughs> it's not working. it wasn't working there's how Mitchell came in there's how I know both of them so here's to the both of them and one absolutely incredible life together I love you guys the best feelings for the future you know so um, on behalf of our side of the family, we, we love you, Mitch. We welcome you um, to, to our half. And, uh, and of course, we're never letting our little baby girl go. But to well, you... she's going. Oh, no. <laughs> she's only going upstairs. That's a long <laughs> ways away from the basement. <laughs> well, she couldn't be in better hands. So thank you so much. We love you. I thought it was pretty appropriate because when, when you put these two together, they're literally a force of nature. They are always laughing and having a good time. And you know, anytime they enter a room, the energy just changes in such a good way. They just bring out the best in each other in, again, just the best way. And I'm so excited to um, welcome you to our family and bring these families together. And I love you both so much. Um, and it's just, yeah, raise a glass. Thank you.